You're still here. I am still here. We're still together. It's funny because our monitor is a little askew right now, so I can't really tell what you guys are seeing. However, this is Whiskey Happens. I'm Gary Johnson. That's Travis Martin. And we are here to talk about uh, Tennessee. Yeah. There's something we normally don't talk about, which is Tennessee whiskey. But today, or a couple days ago, we acquired a bottle of the Chattanooga's Founders Edition 10-Year Anniversary. Uh, Chattanooga started way back in 2012. It is 2022, so there's your 10 years. And uh, this bottle is dedicated to how, where they begin and how far they've come. I believe the back of the bottle says something to the extent of about the original mash bill that they were using combined with this is Lawrenceville, Indiana, so we know that's MGP. Yes. Uh, it's a blend of three different whiskeys, uh, yes. 51% of something, 9% of something else, and 40% of the other. I will put that down in the bottom of the screen. However, I have no clue what that means whatsoever. If I was going to guess at it, um, just from the other spring fall bottles, I'm going to guess that the 1816 res is the MGP, and the other two are from Chattanooga themselves. Yep. That's a guess to not I, come for me. I would definitely think that's your price spot on with that. The other thing is, is we really have enjoyed Chattanooga um, the last couple of expressions that we've had. Um, it is, I'm really excited to try that. Let me put it that way. I'm really excited to try this. Um, 100 proof. Um, yeah, I would, I would say that that's something good. that on our channel, there, there are, we do drink other stuff. Yeah. Right. Some of them obviously don't make the videos for whatever reasons, but their experimentals are pretty good. Like mm -hmm. there aren't too many. We honestly fucked up and bought something that we didn't think we know what it was. <laughs> It'll never get a video, <laughs> but that's just the truth. And I, I recently just found a use for it. Yes. So I'm excited about it. It's, it's still a Chinese product. It's not bourbon or whiskey, but um, it just takes some time to find the right place for it. Almost a year. Coming up on a year, about nine yeah, months. Yep. Anyway, I um, strayed away. I have a very fancy glass. I have a. I'm going to swirl oh. it. I'm giving it a very th clean. This is um, crisp apple. Yeah, hint of stone fruit. Yep. It's strong though, for hundred proof. It 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 you can smell it. So let's go. You know, that's, it's interesting and not in a bad way. The first note I'm pulling out is cotton candy, mm -hmm. but then it, it went to a sharp tobacco and then kind of finished more with the apple flavor that Travis was calling out. Um, I get a cigar blend. Like if you like cigar blends, yeah. that's really popular right now. This is like a cigar blend to me. Um, it's, it's definitely got that if you walked into a cigar lounge, that's the kind of flavor now that I, I mean, it's coming up from the actually tasting it into my smelling it. And it's just, it's, it's really good. Actually. I was surprised. Um, it's not something I would typically go to for a flavor, but I do think it's something that I really like. Like, no, it works. Uh, there, yeah. I'm on the longest system on palate, the more like a berry flavor is coming out. Strawberry is coming to mind. Um, or you could say a blend of wild berries, whatever. Don't want to split hairs about it, but I do think, I don't think, I know I enjoy the complexity on this. Oh, yeah. Because I, I do think if, you know, the bottle is truly celebration, it shouldn't be like, oh, this is a great bourbon or, oh, this is a, a sweet wheat or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think it should be something that evokes conversation or shakes things up. And that's what I love about Chattanooga is it's not like every other Tennessee whiskey. Um, it doesn't have that hint of, uh, I don't know, that funk that Tennessee whiskey has. And it's not funk in a bad way. I don't mean that. Don't don't get upset about that, Tennessee whiskey fans. Um, but it's just got this, this cut the cross smell and taste that you get with almost every Tennessee whiskey. And Chattanooga really doesn't do that. And it has to be with the blending process when they're using the, the stuff from, out of Indiana. Um, it's the only thing I can assume. But all I get is straight cigar. Like I get cigar lounge 
I don't get any of the fruit like you get it, which is great. I mean, I'm glad that you're getting that. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting straight cigar lounge, like, and nothing, and not in a bad way. It's not like I'm going in and I feel ash in my mouth, but it's it's definitely pleasing on the palate. But the more I smell it, it's got that smoky flavor. Like this would be really good with a good uh, flank steak. Like this would be an awesome pairing with a flank steak, maybe mm -hmm. some grilled vegetables. This would be spot on for that. Yeah, it's as it has distinguished notes. Yeah, and I, I do agree. Paired with a meal, this would be great. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I think this lives up to the Chattanooga mantra, which is on the side of the bottle: "Rules are good, change them." Yep. It would be easy to make a ten-year blend that's just like across the board great for everybody, or you could make something that really showcases the master blender's skill set. Yes. And I believe that this bottle does do that. However, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get another bottle. <laughs> so that part makes me sad. I'll probably save this for special occasions or like people who appreciate whiskey versus um, pouring it for the average drinker. Yeah. I think I, that's a fair assessment. Yeah, I definitely think so. I, I definitely think though that um, if it's in your area and you have an opportunity to get it, definitely pick this one up. It's not super high. It's not super expensive. Like it's, um, how much was it MSRP? Cause you picked it up when you first came in. I wish 50, 52. I mean, I wish for, I had to memorize it. for, for something that's uh, a 10 year anniversary blend, like it's not 10 years, but it's a 10 year anniversary blend that they did. I mean, it's really good. I would, yeah, I would definitely spend 50 or 60 bucks on this. Uh, I am definitely saying this is on the rocks all day, every day. Um, and if it's in your area, don't pass up on it. For sure. I think this is definitely on the rocks and um, pair with a meal. I think this is a great drink to eat with any meal, even breakfast. Catch had a song once. Don't worry about, uh, what is she singing about? <laughs> Jack Daniels, maybe? Mm -mm. Uh, he needs some fucking Chattanooga. Yeah. Uh, so just remember, doesn't matter if you like to eat on the rocks or fucking Coke, whiskey happens. Cheers. Cheers.